All right, everybody still looking at some heavy rain in parts of uh, Miami-Dade and now into Broward as well. We continue with these uh, downpours. Here's some embedded uh, thunder as well as we uh, take a look at the flood advisory. The previous one over uh, Miami-Dade has expired. This one's now along the coast, uh, basically from Bay Harbor Islands all the way up close to uh, Dania Beach, and that's because of all the rain that has uh, fallen here, although it's always interesting with these flood advisories and flood warnings. Uh, typically, you know, you look at the radar and the heaviest rain has already moved out, so it's what's already on the ground that has been an issue. And of course, we're saturated in many places. We've got all the heavy rain uh, through uh, hard rock, moderate rain, uh, check that. But yes, absolutely, everything continues to move off to the north and east. A rainy night here in South Florida. We basically have had so much rain this week, uh, we've made up for a good chunk of so far the last few weeks that we really haven't gotten much. So everything lifts up to the north and east. Our models are picking up on that nicely as everything pushes off towards the Atlantic will be done for tonight. Problem is we got more tomorrow and that is going to be the fourth consecutive day that we've had, you know, significant rain. So the ground can't take much more before we get into uh, some flooding issues. So you'll see those advisories coming out as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Better news for the weekend. Not that we're going to shut off rain chances, but I think an easterly flow will allow for the thunderstorms that develop, which will still produce heavy rain in this tropical air mass, but they'll push further to the west. We haven't allowed that with this due south to north flow this week, and that has picked the st uh, storms uh, along the East Coast, and we've had this multiple rounds. We get starting in the afternoon and then back into the evening and late evening. Well, that's going to change a bit as we head into the weekend. So, better news uh, for uh, beachgoers there if you're going to be heading out towards the coast or if you're watching us from there. But this is a mess tomorrow. Still heavy rain, likely flooding. So, it's going to be an alert day for us here as we watch things closely for you throughout the day. And then thunderstorms still in the forecast as we head through the weekend. But again, they're pushing to the west. All right, so tropical storm watch, Puerto Rico involved. You and British Virgin Islands. Of course, we have the warning for uh, the northern leeward islands that this is a Fiona continues to be disorganized. That is, the thunderstorms are still east of the center. They need to wrap around for this to get going. It is going to continue to encounter shear, so not expecting any significant blow up of intensity here. You notice the wind 60, 65 miles an hour heading into the next few days until it gets into the Turks and Caicos and still by then between 65 and 70. Models in a good agreement. What will happen? happen is we need to have this storm go through either Hispaniola or to the north to be certain about what's going to happen thereafter. As I've been mentioning, a stronger storm will likely pull to the north and away from us if this weakens goes through Hispaniola and then reemerges to the north of that. And now we have a system that's moving to the west. That's when we have to watch things uh, rather closely as we head into uh, the weekend. Otherwise, keep checking back with us. We got plenty of time. This thing is uh, been, uh, more than a week out, right? As far as it getting uh, close to the United States. Alert day for tomorrow with heavy rain continuing and then lesser chances for the weekend with highs in the 90s. Stay with us. We'll be right back.